What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Higehiro, and if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you'll be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Higehiro episode 12. That's right! On the last episode, they ended it with the mom slapping her. Oh, dang! Oh, the mom's talking about rumors again! This is why Sayu left. Sayu left because of the mom being only concerned about rumors and such. Oh dear, oh dear. Eee. The mom's like, yeah, sure, take care of her in different ways than one. Ugh. I feel so nervous for Sayu. Like, super, super nervous for her. Bro, you better, you better take care of your sister because your mom, she is out to get her. Like, dang. You're not going to do anything. She will. Shoot. Oh, that awkwardness that's sitting at the table, staring off. The mom looks very attractive, I must say. Running away from home for so long, causing problems for your family. Like, what kind of problems? But what kind of problems? I don't know what kind of problems mom is talking about. Did you ever want to understand what Sayu wanted to do? That's right, see, 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 not even trying to understand. Oh. Damn. The mom was like, what was it? I forget. Jeez Louise. Maybe she wants to run away to get a new family. Shoot. Mom's really bad. From the mother who didn't even try to understand me. Oh, that's right. Maybe she could have just stayed away forever. Yikes. It's kind of weird because the mom made Sayu stay at home, not able to make any friends or any connections outside of home. And so Sayu's only choice was to just run away on her own, not being able to turn to anyone. Okay, it looks like the mom is caring in her own way, but she's doing it really, really bad. Like, the mom's delivery is just so bad. It's like she doesn't know how to take care of teenage girls or children at all. I don't know how she raised her son.
Like, how did she raise the first child? Is it because she had help from her husband at that time? Maybe this woman's just really not good at being affectionate. Maybe that's why her husband left her. I'm just saying. There's just, there's a lot of character flaws with this woman. Ah, oh, she finally found a home with Yoshida. See, see, the mom, she's really bad at treating people like family. The mom's got anger issues. She's hitting that table like she's having a tantrum. Like, maybe she's mentally not stable. What do you mean how much she lost because of Sayu? Oh, gosh. She's Louise. Yo, bro, you need to take your sister out of there now. This is verbal and mental and emotional abuse. Holy cannoli. Does this woman even know what she's saying? Jeez. What if the mom has always been like this and the brother's been witnessing this horrendous performance and that's why he helped his sister leave? I doubt that because I feel like he would act on it earlier. It seems like he had an idea what was going on and he was just being nice to his sister because he felt bad because he never helped her before. And now he's actually witnessing how bad it gets. Like, the brother had a shocked face. Face, face. Why did it add it to you? Face. And we got here, like, a monologue going on. <laughs> I'm, like, talking, analyzing this whole situation. I feel like I've been in this type of situation before. But not as bad. Nobody chooses to be born. That's true. I don't know why the mom is displacing blame onto Sayu. That's just ridiculous. I mean, how old is Sayu again? She's a teenager, right? The mom had like years, 10 plus years to come to terms with whatever issues she got. Ugh. This woman, she needs to get laid for real. Also, she's so uptight and mad and so the kind. Ugh. Was that vulgar? I'm like, I really think the mom needs to, like, get some. Like, I'm sure if the mom was able to experience some romance, some enjoyment in life, she wouldn't be so angry. Yep, that's true. A child does not have the ability to choose their parents. You really don't care about Sayu. Oh, <gasps> so it is father-daughter relationship. It's father-daughter. What do you mean you can't do that?
Maybe it's because it's not parent-child relationship between you two. Maybe it's just be too weird. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Responsibility. Duty. I see that the brother understands what Yoshida is saying. It doesn't seem like the mom does. Like, it's weird because it seems like the mom comes from, like, a very strict traditional family. And you would think that she had a responsibility and duty to raise a child as a woman of the house. But she looks more like a career woman who puts her job before her children. I feel like the mom has a story. I just don't know what that story is. It seems like it's really deep more than what was going on with her husband. Like, you can kind of tell because the mom has very fair skin and having fair skin is a very traditional thing, something that, like, the older generations admire and want. And if you don't have fair skin, like, if you're tan and such, you're deemed dirty. Whoa, 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 the mom is crying after two people just asked her to be a mom. She's like, she can't handle the pressure. She can't handle it. All she was asked to do was become a mom. You act like a mom. Maybe once she realized how bad it is that two people have to beg her. To be a mom and really saw you just broke her. She's like, oh damn, it's bad. This is really, really bad. But with those headaches, it just looks like she's she's mentally unstable. Maybe she's always been mentally unstable. And it looks like the brother kinda knows. Which maybe why there that's why he has some guilt because he left a minor with a person not competent to raise a child yes yoshida cry for her i love it when a man cries show your emotions let it all out. But she did. Sayu did. It was, it was small, but she did. She did get mad. She did say something to her mom. And her mom was just, like, super dismissive. Like, I've been blamed for being dismissive, but that? Holy cannoli. That was, like, supernova dismissive. Shish kebab. And it's weird because the mom would ask her for her opinions or, like, her thoughts, yada, yada, yada. And then Sai would say it. And the mom was like, eh, whatever. It's like, what was the point of you asking? Were you just asking for the sake of it? Like, ugh. Yes, people, cry, cry. Let it all out. Let, it all, let out all your frustrations. Like, damn, I would cry, too. This is just her thing. It felt like you've been forgiven. Why would you need to be forgiven? Uh, yeah, you did things that were wrong, but it was sort of to survive. Duh, duh. 
sticky, sticky situation. Okay, she's holding his hand. Oh, he's holding the <gasps> intertwine. That's a romantic way to hold hands, right? I think so. I think that's a romantic way to hold hands. A bit intimate. Because they could have just hold it like this. But no. Is more fingers being intertwined. Huh. Will the day come when she remembers this? Is Yoshida planning to just cut off from her for good from here? Uh huh. Yes, they're very close. You know, they've been through stuff together. Yeah, how'd it go? You need to stay here until you graduate. As long as you don't cause any problems, she won't bother you. She's never bothered with Sayu. She should just stay with the brother. Like, what does that mean? As long as Sayu doesn't cause any problems, the mom won't bother her. Like, what, what does that mean, bother? Like, does that mean, like, Sayu can can do whatever she wants as long as she doesn't cause problems. Is that what she means? Like, hey, don't get it. Ah. Uh. Maybe I'm still I'm too stuck on <laughs> the whole, the mom won't bother her thing like <laughs> <what>? <sighs> oh but it does seem like they're going to separate from here. What do you mean frustrating? Yeah, you're Sayu's brother. You did shit. Never got on your knees for her. Well, it's a little different from someone in a family because you would think, oh, I'm her child. She would listen to me. This seems like it was more pride on his part. Like, why should I kneel to my mom for my sister? And it seems like he feels bad for not even thinking about doing that. It seems not too sure. Oh ho ho ho! You can do it. Good luck. Time. Time to talk with the mom or time for when you guys are separated? Don't be sorry for you. You just did all you did was... was kneel. Like you care. It's too late to care, Mom. Too late to care about that stuff.
It's like the mom was saying, like, was it was she that good in bed that you'd go this far for her? No, woman. He's a genuine man. Genuine person. Oish. Go back to Tokyo in the morning. No, 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 no. You need to give him a day to hang out before he leaves. Don't agree with her. And that was my reaction to Higehiro episode 12. What did you think about that episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos, do you like to stop by the stream? Have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to Hikihiro episode 12. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.